Why do you like to post so many blue screens? <laughs> All right, now that's good. What was the most money that you've made in a single day? <laughs> How much would you say is your biggest drawdown? Would you be open to publish your trading? What risk management strategy do you use? Do, do you think you're a good trader? Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another podcast. Today we are doing episode two. And today we do have Andy Aaron in the house. Most of you probably know this gentleman over here. So now I did do a review of all these signals and today, you know, like for the previous video that I did, just give the signal provider or the trader a platform to come and, you know, just answer some of the questions relating to the services that he does offer. So Andy, firstly, welcome. Um, do you maybe just want to tell some of the audience, you know, who you are and you know the vibes? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for the warm introduction, Mr. Julio. Um, many people know me as SNR, Mr. Andy R, and so I'm known as SNR on the public platforms, you know. But yeah, just a background on me, I've been trading around about two to three years. I'm going on to my third year of trading now. Um, you know, I became profitable end of 2021. I became a profitable trader. Um, previously, work experiences, I was a nurse before I started trading, you know, working in the, um, not necessarily a nurse, but working into the medical field. Um, yeah. I was dabbling in the medical field quite often, you know. So yeah, that's just a bit of background around me. And I'm an aggressive bearish trader. Full margin aggressive bearish trader. Full okay, well, I've, I've never heard of a, a a aggressive very bonds and traded that view um but i would honestly <laughs> assume that you know big risk big reward would you give that type of advice to any person that is looking to get into trading to focus on how to become a full mods and berries trader i would assume that uh, can you explain what does full berries mods and trader mean <laughs> and then would you also advice if it's good for any person to trade that way yeah um especially for beginners you know i would never ever suggest to beginners to become aggressive traders or even be aggressive traders and especially full margin trading as i do myself because when you are full margin trading the word itself basically says what type of trader you are you're willing to risk your full capital you're willing to risk everything that is in your account now many people will like they will think to themselves but there's no risk management involved in full margin trading but there is because remember when you are full margin trading what what goes on in your mindset as a trader is listen here whatever i have in my trading account i am willing to risk that is what my mindset is i'm willing to risk what is in my account in order to achieve my reward as a beginner trader you cannot have that mindset because you first have to develop your skill, develop your strategy, develop your risk management. My risk management is if I put 20k into an account, I'm willing to risk that 20k because I know in my bank account is, for instance, 100k or 200k. So I'm willing to risk the amount that is in my trading account, if that makes sense. So from my personal trader's perspective, I would say you like to go big or go home, am I correct? There we go. I've always believed in Life is full of uh, risks, heavy risks, you know, so why go into something um, heavy heartedly, half heartedly, if I can say it like that, you know, go into it with your full heart. If you trust your bias, for instance, if you're a trader like myself, I trust my bias. 100% of the time. I know that I won't be right 100% of the time, but I test myself 100% of the time, which is why I go all out on my trading account. Right? So um, I wouldn't suggest it to, especially beginner traders, I don't suggest it to my people that I teach and neither do I suggest it in any signal group either. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Now, now okay. So, so we've heard your story and we heard about you. Let's talk about the signals a little bit, right? Tell me, why do you like to post so many blue screens? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good question you know um i feel many people have asked me that so many times why the blue screens why the blue screens you know how blue, blue screens. To every single time you know and it's it's something that i i laugh at because i know it's funny i get seen as this type of person that type of person you know because of the blue screens but the reason why i post them is some right many signal providers they take they give a signal right they say buy gold but you will notice that 
they never show that they think that they they just say oh guys buy gold and but when they post screenshots or when they show their wins they show something different i do i post my screenshots or i post my results in order to motivate other daters to show them listen here if you have a loss on my signal group i have a loss as well if you have a win okay. on my signal group, i have a win as well so basically okay. just to show the connection between the two. Okay, okay. And and your trading accounts, they, they are all 100% real or are they... Uh, all XNES verified. Those, those, accounts, those accounts that look like they're real but they are actually... They misplug in, right? F funny enough, funny enough, you mentioned <laughs> that. Um, I think you mentioned that before. <laughs> and for me, yeah. it was such a weird um, term because I did not know you can even purchase um, real accounts from a broker. I didn't even, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, up uh, someone mentioned it. So it's something cool to look at, but no, I don't purchase any real accounts that I know about. Everything is deposit, paid, withdrawal. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So so the MD4 manager is, it allows you to make a demo account look like a real account. So if you are, most brokers, they provide this platform to their affiliates, their IVs, to kind of make it seem as if they are making real money in the market, right? So you say all your accounts are real. Correct. In the beginning, I remember um, it was towards the end of 2021, right? So someone challenged me. Someone was like, listen here, um, Mr. Arnsir, do you do you do paper trading? And he was like, are some of your profits paper trades or some of your profits real trades? So I told him 90% or let's make it 95% of my profits that I make or that I post. Oh, real. There was that 5% in the beginning when I was at the end of 2021. I told him 5% of it is clickbait. But I make it aware to my traders that they are clickbait when it is clickbait. You understand? When it's yes. real, I make it aware. Thank you, guys. It's real. When it's clickbait, okay. it's clickbait. So, but, okay. Yeah. Cool. So, my, my question is, do you, do you not use these type of blue screens? Um, to maybe make people think that they can make the type of money in the market also. To, 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 when, when you post the blue screens, right? Because because you know this 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 industry is, is, a, is a big mess, right? So when, when you say blue screens all the time, right? Blue screens, blue screens, blue screens. The intention with what you are doing, it can never be known, right? So I'm gonna ask you the question like this. Do you post the blue screens or mentors that were to mark or to make people uh, sign up to your services and think they're going to make the same type of money? Or do you post it with the intention to show people that you've made money through the same position? If the answer is yes, then can you also explain to us then why in the free group would you say that information? Because look, you are very transparent with the information that you provide and I can respect that from any other person who does it, right? But it is important for us to understand what the reasoning behind people liking to flash these blue screens to the people. So my question to you is your purpose for doing it is obviously to show people that you are actually making money through the market, like you said. Yes. And yeah. Um, sorry, sorry to interrupt you now. Like you mentioned before, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, I'm done spent in everything I do. I'm not going to be like a saint and say no, but it's purely just for the good of the people. It's not purely good for the good of the people. That is not the guy I am. At the end of the day, I run a business. A business needs advertising. What is a good way of advertising? It's showing that your service or what you do, you are good at what you do. And that is what I do with my blue screens. So, okay, guys, cool. So, so, time, so, and, so yeah. cool. So, so then you would say that you use it. For, for marketing, right? Yes, I definitely do. Definitely. Okay, cool. But you obviously have your your results to back up that information as well, because you yes, do post your risk reward, like the, the amount of pubs that you made or whatever the case is, right? Yeah, not necessarily the, um, what I normally do is, or what I used to do is, I, I calculate the amount of pubs that I uh, basically give for the week in the signal scope, then I would normally post it in my free group. I don't do it as often as, anymore due to time related um, issues, obviously, but I would normally then do that, especially clients that will message me. They will tell me, listen here, uh, Mr. Orange, sir, can we have some results of clients? And I would show them, listen here, this was the signal group for this month or for the past couple of weeks. There you can see this is what we've done, this is where we lost, and then they can decide whether they want to sign up with me or not. You know, so okay. That's what so, I. So, so people actually reach out to you and ask you and request this information, right? Yeah, definitely. They they supposed to provide them with the information. 
they're supposed to people come to me and they tell me listen here andy um we don't we don't believe in this that that etc and i show them listen here but there's this that that etc they will tell me we don't believe your accuracy rate is 80 percent in your signal group and i will show them but there is the accuracy rate i had 17 wins for february i had five losses um 17 wins five losses 22 signals were sent there we go you understand so that should always be there for the okay, consumer cool. as well as for the all right now that's good what was the most money that you've made in a single trade <laughs> oh that's such a that's such a very good question because the most money that i've made i've not posted it and that is what i feel most people um most people will be shocked about when they watch this again to be like but you post everything the most money i've made ranges from around about 12.3 to 16.4 million i'm just going to give you the range i'm not allowed to for obvious reasons give you the exact amount source could be watching so yeah well, i don't think sars is gonna watch the poor person like this video <laughs> But no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think they, they, they need to bother with this video. Now, yeah. I guess the question would be, right? Um, I, I think you, you obviously know what the next question is going to be. If you are generating this amount of revenue that that mm. you make, right? Because you generate a lot of revenue. If I was making 16, if you're making 16 million, right? So some, some of the questions that we're going to go through shortly, you just asking like why are you holding on to 100k loss i would say i've, I've probably not made 16.4 million in my lifetime but my question to you is what drives a person who is already making so much money what what drives you to still go and say okay i'm i'm, I'm gonna do signals also like would you not want to maybe just go and mm. enjoy your 16.4 million or your millions that you're making in the market what is the reason behind why you are still offering these signals like i mean like millions sig like what, what can 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 you maybe just elaborate on that for us please okay it's going to be a bit of a lengthy answer so i hope you bear with me okay so for me as a as a person yeah no problem for me as a person right um as i've explained before to many people i'm a young man you know i'm not even yeah. seeing my 30s yet i'm a very young man yeah my space is this what am I going to 16 million at? A property in Cape Town ranges from 2 million to 10 million, right? In the yeah. decent area. That's property in Cape Town, right? Then for the next 40, 50 years, I'm going to have to be able to live without ever having to work again, right? Because that's yeah. the goal. I feel that's the goal as I say, I say this. Yeah. I don't want to work ever again for a cost, etc. So yeah. if I just stop with 16 million in the market, do you honestly think that if I'm going to want to purchase a house in Cape Town, travel as well abroad, go to Dubai or go to any place that I would want to go? I want to one day live in um in, in Sweden. If I want to live in Sweden, it's one of the richest countries in the world. Do you think 16 million rand is going to mean anything that side? You you understand what I'm what I'm getting to, which is why I take that money, the money of the profits that I make, and I invest it, I put it away. And that is why I'm selling signals, I'm selling mentorship. All this money goes towards something it goes towards something that can bring me income consistently that is why i sell these services because you can make this money on the market what happens the day that i have a bad day on the market then the signals and the mentorship still keeps my income to a point of where it, it's a little years but it's still it's still an income my income is an income what i'm trying to say at the end of the day um Look, so yeah I, and then my second yeah no, it's fine. I, no, no, it's fine. Oh. can talk. I hope you're done. Yeah. <laughs> and then my final reason is this, right? You, most of the time people say that profitable traders are not known to the public, right? We both know this. Profitable traders are not known to the public. Profitable yeah. traders are not known to society out there because why should they be known? The why will I yeah. share my profitable strategy with you as an individual? And I will charge you yeah. five hundred dollars. Why do I need your five hundred dollars if I'm making yes, five hundred thousand exactly. dollars? It doesn't make sense. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But but get this, get this quickly. Let's say all the profitable traders do nothing. We say nothing. We do nothing. We just stay for ourselves. When is the public actually going to get valuable knowledge from someone that knows what they're speaking about? We're just going to hand over the public to these guys that post BMWs, these guys that post houses, and then they can't tell you to save their life. 
You understand what I'm saying? When is the public actually going to get that, <laughs> auth- that authenticating experience from someone that actually knows what they are talking about in the market? And that will only happen if someone says, listen here, even though I'm making an income from the market, let's teach these people, not for free though, because people don't appreciate stuff when it's free, but let's give the public something that's actually worth the value. So that's, that's my opinion. Uh, I, no, that, look, uh, that's, that, that's fine. Um, I do want to just add on to the people don't appreciate things for free, right? I do think it is to an extent, right? I think, mm. yes, there is people out there who don't appreciate things that you do for free. And I think mm. there is a handful of people that appreciate things that you do for free. But the majority of people would look at it and say, ah, I got it for free. I'm not going to value the information as much as I would. And I guess if you look at my YouTube channel, right, it's got over 500 YouTube videos that focuses just on education. And still people are asking questions related to information that I've already published out there as well. So yeah, I think that 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 makes sense um, in terms of the people that want you to do free, free stuff. Um, and I guess that's each to their own. If, if you feel that you want to sell signals, I guess you can do it. Um, and if you feel that you, you know, you know, regardless of the amount of money that you make, in the markets as 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 well um another thing is how much would you say is your biggest drawdown i think the the biggest drawdown that i've ever experienced was at about 300k it was the biggest drawdown where i've been like listen here i'm not gonna close the state you get what i'm saying it's where i've been like oh, this it's, it's it's big because you know it's such a psychological psychological um I almost want to say it tires you out psychologically and 300k was was where i was like yeah <laughs> luckily the market reversed uh, around 360 but it was it was the biggest slowdown that i've experienced so far on this and market. and this is in zar no that was the new USD. yes no 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 in zar it was in zar it was in zar <laughs> let me just okay. put that out no, there you, I, I think you you didn't want some big money in the market right i think that's mm. that's that's some that's some big i think you are more like a hedge fund or something like that. Um, and I guess, you know, you have to be very, very good. You know, I, I trade. Uh, do, do, do I make that kind of money? No, I don't. And I'm not even going to sit here and, and pretend like <laughs> and pretend like I do. Because you know, otherwise I would have been wearing a, a shirt like you as well. But you can see I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess look that kind of sums up the, the the you know the questions that I did wanted to ask you, and I think it's it's fairly straight to the point, and I think a lot of yeah. people would want to know that. But we got a couple of questions here that we're gonna go through, and then you can just answer them to the best of your ability, right? Uh, no problem. So we've got, the first question here comes from so two weeks, right? He says, or she says. Um, you should show them your trade history. Now, I'm going to pose that as a question to you. Would you be open to publish your trade history for the trades that you have taken for a particular month in the free group that you have? I don't or see do why you not. Know? You know, I, I, I've I done it before. I think recently I showed a three-month track record of my trading account. I posted it on my Facebook for those that like would want to see it. I think it's still on there. I must just check again because my admin cleans the group often at. So we can they can just go check on there, go see. I think it's still pinned. You'll see it's a three month um, track record of my one trading account. So for three months, you can see that is the amount I deposited, that is the amount I withdrew, and that's the amount that I've been in commission, etc. 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 What I can do for them as well is I can post the trades that are taken for all those three months. So they can see that what was losses, what was wins, where did I go wrong, what did I do right, you know, so that they can get in that mindset. I think it sounds like something good that you can add. So, okay, beautiful. All right, no, that's 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 uh that's nice. So the the next question we got here is from Simonello Hamilton. He's asking, where did you find your strategy? How much are you charging for it to teach people? And how many people can you say has been profitable from your trading strategy? And are you willing to include evidence now? You obviously can't put anything on this video, so I will leave a link to your free group in the comment section below. But would you be able to provide the information for Sibonello? Yeah, I mean, I've posted it constantly where um, 
I'll, I'll answer the questions as they go down at right? so the, the first question was when did i find my strategy now um i didn't find my strategy and well, let me just say um i was introduced <laughs> to dating by one of my friends <laughs> one of my friends told oh, me this the, yeah. did you find a strategy around the corner <laughs> yeah i think they, they mean that but one of my friends was like yeah bro, um there's this guy that's teaching trading and i was like okay cool i'm always open to learning new things and this guy i feel you know who this guy is is i don't know if we can mention his name um on here i'm not going to mention his name because i don't want anything sh- shit to happen on the podcast but anyway um yeah he taught he basically had a course and i did the course and i felt like okay this course is all right but it's not giving me what i want you understand so what i did was i went on the market and i started back this thing i started developing my own type of strategy you know my own way of reading the markets and it took around about four or five months six months of trading consistently paper trading you know and eventually i achieved my profitability so i won't necessarily say i found a strategy but i more or less developed my own strategy that worked for okay. me on the market i hope that answers the question um and then i don't know what the person's what that person said as well can you just reread the um what the person said do you, do you how many people can you say has made money or has been profitable with your system and would you include the evidence as well no no problem um previous previously previous weeks previous um experiences i can say it on the market people have sent me screenshots people have shown me proof and how they mark certain zones on the market and the market is spits following the way that i've taught them you know so multiple people you know i can i can almost say over the if i estimate probably over 50 60 people that i have taught the strategy yeah. that have come back to me and said listen here the strategy is profitable not a hundred percent profitable but it is profitable you understand what yeah, I'm but, so and i have evidence you know, yeah yeah i was gonna say now it's very easy to say that people like mm. come back you know it's like oh no i got people who came back to me <laughs> and then <laughs> you can't you can't put it on paper so so thank you mm. for that so the next question is very straightforward uh have you ever experienced any drawdowns i think i asked oh, hell yes. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I have definitely um and also the reason for holding on to a hundred thousand dollar loss is coming from so as the change you asked if you experience drawdowns like cornel who's asking he would like to know why you holding on to a hundred k loss i mean as as any data that's a good question you know excuse me as any trader you know the direction that your eyes should go that when the market doesn't go that way you always have that i almost want to say that that sixth sense that tells you listen here keep the trade because the market is basically either just fetching liquidity or the market is basically going the opposite direction in order to fetch liquidity to push towards your direction right so yeah it's always it's always a matter of testing your psychology i feel 100k drawdown the reason why i was keeping because in this market you must have patience and i knew that market was not the 100k drawdown was not going to blow my account and in that sense i knew that the market was eventually going to reverse and go into the my direction which is why i keep drawdown i feel like this is why we all keep drawdown isn't it yeah no i i i, I don't uh so i play very simple right so if if you all uh, the the way you trade is you you said you're a full margin trader right so i'm more of a yes you know so i'm more of a discipline like i'm not saying you're not disciplined but my <laughs> risk is calculated mm. and and i know what i'm going to lose if the stop loss hit so mm. i'm not really there checking you know so if i put a trade now i know if, if the stop loss hits i'll lose a hundred dollars if the take profit hits i'll make three hundred dollars so mm. but i guess in your case you you just like but the signals you provide are not seen in the same way am i correct no definitely not they are set with an sl in three point and take profit um and okay. many people would ask but how does a aggressive full margin trader they do give sls and give take in of the day i know or let's say 80 percent of the time i know where the market is going to stop do, doing down or stop retracing you understand what i'm saying i have uh no, no, to my maybe, eyes. so i'm sorry for cutting in there but you said 80 percent of the time you know where the market's gonna u-turn yeah i i know exactly where it's going to u-turn because remember if i say i have an 80 percent success rate 
That means eighty yeah. percent of the time, I know that this is gonna happen. You understand? So eighty okay. percent of the time, I would say, listen here, SR is this area right here. Um, I'm not trading with an SR, or sometimes I would trade with an SR because I'm giving the trade out that. So I'd say, yeah. okay, here's an SR. This is where the market is going to reverse. So market would even reverse before that, or even you know, and it wouldn't hit my SR, would go my way. Market would hit my take profit. You understand? So. Um, I forgot what the question was, but yeah, it's all, it's all. I give it's all in there. I give take profit in my signal group. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, Liesl is asking, what risk management strategy do you use? And I guess we've already concluded that you are a full margin very trader. But I guess <laughs> for the people who's in your signal group, right? Um, is there a risk management strategy that you use to okay. come up with um, these signals? What I would normally suggest them, okay, so let's say it's a thousand and of the account, right? Thousand yeah. and have a thousand and trading account, I would normally tell them listen here. On a thousand and trading account, I'd suggest risking four hundred and right? Risking four hundred and to make of a thousand and account five thousand and right? so if you yeah. put that in your steel wood, you'll get your all your all right. So um that is basically how I would normally calculate it for them. Obviously, I would tell them on certain dates, for instance, like a NASDAQ date, I would tell them this in year one to five first year or the one to two, one to three, etc. You know, depending on how the date moves and depending on what type of date it is. But generally, what I've noticed is in my signal scope, one to two, one to three, possibly one to five. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so the next question, I think it's something we touched based on, right? Coming from Yanda is asking, do, do you think you're a good trader? I mean, <laughs> the industry, there's so many people out there that are exceptional, you know? And I normally measure myself according to their success, if that makes sense. So I would look at a trader that I think is good and I would tell myself, am I good, you know? so. The, to answer that question, I would tell myself, I am not where I want to be yet, so I'm not good trader yet. I'm an okay trader, I will, I will put myself, because, yeah, I mean... better than Nesiba. <laughs> better than Nesiba, I guess. The thing is, I have, I have a thing about, I have, a, I have something that I always say in my community, and everyone can, the people that I'm speaking directly to can come for me after this podcast. And I'm going to say it now. I don't expect any trader, and I'm going to say it again, that does certain things in the community and 99% of the time, the community ends up losing. And I do think yeah. that I'm better than traders like that. Let me say it. Like okay. Again. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Now, that's good. So, if the, there is a follow-up question, right? It says that if you do think you're a good trader, well, what is the reason for selling mentorship? and signals. Now, I think I have asked you that question in the beginning. Yeah. You said that in case of a loss, you, that is your business. And um, again, like I said, it's each to their own. Um, so the next question is from Copano asking, what is your profitable rate? You said 80%. Yeah, um, it obviously so month, of month, month, it's different. month after month it's different, I guess, depending on the market conditions of the previous month. Like March month's um, success rate was probably 70, see, around about the 70 percent. February was so, 80, so 84 percent. How, how do you measure the 70 percent that you get? How, how, so, how is it measured? The amount of wins calculated by the amount of losses that I've had and the amount of trades that I've had, obviously, as well. So, okay, wins cool. taken into consideration, losses, and then amount of trades. So, you don't look at the the percentage of the amount of trades, <laughs> so you just count the wins um, and the losses. So, you yeah, would count the wins and losses. So you you would say that if you send ten trades with an eighty percent success rate, eight of those trades was winnings, and two of them was losses. Yes. But it doesn't mean Definitely. that you've made eighty percent of the account balance, right? In most, remember, because I'm a full margin trader, it no, 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 many no, no, times no, it does. No, not you. <laughs> I'm saying oh. that from a consumer's perspective, remember, if you put out onto a website or a public platform that lets you your success rate is 80%, if you go to a bank and they tell you, we'll give you 6.5%, you should know this, you, you, you're good with, the, with, with, with money and numbers. If, if a bank tells you that we will give you a 6.5% interest on your return per year, right? Or they tell you that we will give you a 6.5% rate, you, you would automatically assume you're supposed to get 6.5% of whatever you invest so yes. my question to you is right if you claim that you've got an 80 percent success rate does that mean 
If I deposited a thousand rand, that by the end of the month I would sit with eight hundred rand. Is what I want to know. Do you yes. count it like that, <laughs> or do you count yes. it like eight wins out of ten trades? Do, do, do you understand like, what I'm I, saying? I get what you're saying. Yeah, I I, I feel. That is actually a very good question because it it differs because all the questions are very good questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I would just say is I would say that listen here, eighty percent is determined by the amount of winning trades that the consumer in my signal group has taken. So okay. if I sent out eight winning trades and you took all the ten trades of the month, right? That means that you should basically have if you were let's say if your um target was a hundred and per trade, that means you would have made eight hundred and for the month. You know? If 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 that makes sense because you took eight trades. So eight times hundred this gives you your eight hundred. So it depends on how much the consumer wants to make times with my uh, percentage rate. So if the consumer was risking a thousand and per trade which means I would have made 8,000 and in my signal group for the month because I have 80% winning. I hope that answers the question. Okay, so you, you would then say your win to loss ratio is that for every 10 trades, you would then win 8 or whatever the case is. Okay. Yes. Every 10 um, trades, it wins. Okay, cool, cool. It, it, it is very confusing for, for both of us to interpret, but I had a similar situation on a video that I published yesterday of that lady right where i said in the beginning that i think when i spoke about this this morning is people yes, yes. confused right where you can have a lot of winnings with least amount of losses but you could still be negative in terms of a risk to reward you understand yes yes and definitely when you say that that's fine you can come in out when you say that you have got more winning trades than losing trades and people who look at people who's got more winning trades than losing trades might not necessarily really care whether they would have been profitable with it or not. But people like myself and anyone else who looks at percentage traders is going to come to you and say, okay, but what was your uh, your risk to reward per trade? Like how much did you risk? Maybe 1%. But I can understand where you're going because you're looking at monetary value and not percentage gains, which takes me back to what I was saying. We don't all look at the market the same way. We don't calculate our gains the same way, but I can understand because if there are people, or there's a lot of people who look at the market the same way as you do. And I think that's important at the end of the day. Also what I feel, um, sorry to interrupt you now, also what I feel is know. that many, many a times when I'm flipping accounts, I, I got, not famous I want to say, but I became well known for my ability to be able to flip small accounts into big accounts. I, I didn't become well known of posting this or I became well known of because I could flip a my first big flip with a 2000 and flip to 80k, right? That was my first profitable, big profitable day. So when, when you're calculating percentage of that, that's like how much over 100% return. You, under, you understand what I'm saying if you're flipping 2000 and to 80,000 80, and, you know? So that is why I'm always not necessarily focused on percentage on return, but focus more on the, like you mentioned, the monetary. Look, I'll, 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 t right. I'll tell you this much, right? And I'll say this to you and I'll say it to everyone else who sells signals out there. When, when you trade in your personal capacity, right? It, it, it is like you are at your house. Nobody's going to tell you what you can do at your house. But the minute you step into someone else's house, you have to be considerate that their rules might not be the same as yours. You understand? So it is easy for experienced traders like yourself and anyone else to go onto a public platform and say, look, I can flip 10 Rand to 10,000 or DJ Coach 2 Rand to 2 20 million. Right? Okay. The, the thing is, we shouldn't put it in a way that will make someone who is looking at it go, okay, so if I give Aaron Samai 300 rand for the signals, I will also be able to flip 20 rand to 1,000 because trading is the game of probabilities. You're not always say, like there, there's no 50-50. You're 100% wrong or you're 100% right. 100%. Not, right. I was almost right or, oh, I was almost wrong. No, if you're wrong, you're wrong, the trade is binary, you're right, you're wrong, it's on, you off, you jump, you sit, it really doesn't matter. So I understand what you're saying from there, right? Um, yeah, 
So the, here's the last question from trader Ken. He's saying, so a one year track record, you should connect his account with my FX book and drink a, drop a link for everyone to go and see. Which I think doesn't sound like a bad idea. I, I do think that, and so this is not just targeted at you. I think mm. as we grow through this forex industry, right? And we start selling our services and we want people to buy into our services i guess it would be it, it would be good and then i'm not saying you have to go and do it because there's almost nobody who does it in any case but it would be beautiful to see people um actually go on my fix book and say there's a link to my fix book you know yeah. there, there's there's my stuff uh, but again it's each to their own What's your answer yeah. to that? Um, for me personally, I, I don't know. I'm just, the thing is, I'm a very, people should know this. I'm a very Oh, you're not going to say that's lazy. a very nice question. <laughs> no, that's not a very nice question. That's how <laughs> <laughs> um, What people should understand about me as an individual, I'm not a person that's very um, all over the place savvy in the sense of my FX books is connected. You know, I know about MT4 that you can plug, buy, buy accounts. I'm not the person that knows these things. You understand what I'm saying? I'm still yeah. a person that is, I'm still in the basics of things, not a basic sailor, but I'm a very simple minded person. So if, if I were to go to my FX book, you know, connect my account to my FX book, you know, then I can do it. You understand what I'm saying? If I really I'll, want to, then I will do it. But for me, I'll, it's... I'll tell just... you this much. I'm, I'm sorry. I tell you this much. I, I do think that if someone approaches you that wants to buy your services, then there's no problem. I think sometimes yeah. pe pe people of the public is 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 sometimes so like wanting to know so much with uh, without having a genuine interest into you as a trader or they don't have anything like they don't have an interest in buying your signals or your mentors they just, they just want, want to, to see it. yeah as if <laughs> so you can do it then he needs to do it also i guess yeah you know? the thing is Because... what what i also said what i also said the other day was for me as an individual i see a lot of things i see a lot of mentors out of there doing a lot of things so i understand why the public is the way they are right but also i can also say that i've i have so many people come to me show a withdrawal history i show them a withdrawal history oh you bought this do this do that etc you know so many people want so many things at the end of the and for me it's like but for me to do this for you is not going to prove anything because you're always going to find a reason to say that i'm not why i say i am so for me i've just gotten to a point where i'm like listen yeah if you if you don't want to believe i am who i say i am then it's fine at the end of the day the people no, that do I, I think, then yeah I, I think what what makes it difficult for for people to believe is that we we all put ourselves in the situation from wow. as you know from the next person and the thing is when people are making the kind of money that that you guys make on on social media it's very easy for someone to ask and I think that's the most asked question by traders by non traders by people who doesn't know anything about trading by TikTokers, by any person that you talk about trading, the first question they will ask is, but if this guy's making so much money, why is he selling signals? So why is he mm. doing mental stuff? I and love like this <laughs> and, and like I said before, it's, it's each to their own. You might have a different answer for it. I might not agree with your answer and I might not agree with everyone else's answers in regards to what they are. Uh, The thing is, Mr. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Olio, sorry to disturb you. Um, what I've, the thing is, when I first got into the industry, I, I didn't have any services at all. Like nothing at all. People that, that remember me from back then, I didn't have anything. I used to, every Monday, every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I used to come on Zoom, send my link out to the free group, and I used to teach people for free. You know, I used to do this every single day um, for, this, for the duration of 2022 or 20, end of 2021. 2022 up until february march april may so I, i was doing this you know and every day i would come on and someone would ask me the exact same question i would respond to them you understand to a point where i realized but people are not going to take what i'm saying seriously if they're not charged for it because this is a money-making industry so you expect to be in a money-making industry without actually contributing of yourself to this industry You see, and that is why okay. I charge so that, so that someone can give of themselves in this industry so that they can 
learn and experience trading in its own face. Okay. So, yeah. But you do pay tax on your money, right? No, definitely. Okay. Damn. <laughs> nah, I can't. Uh... <laughs> Look, I, 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 I think you know. You know that concludes the conversation here, and no, I think we, we can we can always get. On a call again, if new things you know develop in the future going forward, uh, if there's new questions or anything like that. Um, but I will leave your information. Where where can people find you on Instagram? Oh, uh, I'm not much on Instagram. On on X, I feel people would see my work better, especially on X, because I don't post as much on well, what's Instagram. What's your X handle? Uh, it's it's an R. So it's an R. As you type it in, you will find me there. If you just type in S and R, that is my social handle on X. And then my website is also on Google. If you type in um, R and FX, you, I can send you the link. And then if you want, you can also post it on the channel. And then people can see what services I provide. Uh, as well. Yeah, I, I think you can just give the free link there. Okay, no or, stress. I, I think people will find you easier just by uh, the look of it. But other than that, look, I want to say thank you for your time. I do thank you very much. You're taking time, out the time out of your busy schedule to come and sit here <laughs> and have a conversation with me and, and, and hopefully this kind of clears the air up for a lot of people um, in regards to why you do what you do because I think if we this this, this stems directly from uh, from people as soon as I upload a video you see people asking these questions and you yeah. can't talk through the video you understand you can't talk through the video while I talk so mm -hmm. you have to come onto a different platform to say okay but this is why I was doing what I was doing and people can decide again like I always say I believe in freedom of speech and I believe in people can have their opinions and people will can have their opinions about whether they believe it whether they don't whether they feel like they, they are going to join they're going to do some more research uh, I don't know what the case is but in any case uh, we thank have to you, my, my friend, I want to say thank you so much for your time. You have yourself a blue, beautiful day. How is it beautiful day? You have yourself uh, a beautiful day. And yeah, my friend, that is it. Thank you for your time. And as always, cheers. Cheers. Yes.